Welcome to the APA 7th Edition Brief Overview. APA 7th Edition was released in October 2019. In this workshop, you will get a brief overview of the task you need to do when creating an APA style project and some resources to help you with this. For more details, more explanation of rules, and more resources, see the APA 7th Edition Basics Workshop. The three tasks you need to do when creating a project using APA style includes creating in-text citations. In-text citations allows a reader to identify the evidence or sources you used while reading your document. Including a reference page of all the sources you use provides additional information about your sources that are not included in the in-text citations. You will also need to format your document according to the style. There are general formatting rules that indicate such things as margins, font, spacing, cover pages, headings, and reference page formatting rules. This checklist is available to you in the Academic Support Services Canvas environment and on the library's website. Now that we briefly introduced you to document formatting, we're going to briefly talk about the citations on your reference page. Your reference page includes citations for every source you use listed in alphabetical order. These citations provide information so the reader can find your sources. The citations provide information that answers the who, what, when, and where questions about your sources. Although all citations have things in common, such as author, publication year, and title, some sources require additional details to effectively identify them. There is a brief handout available in the Academic Support Services Canvas environment and on the library's website that provides examples of citations for different types of sources. Now that we briefly introduced you to document formatting and reference page citations, let's move on to in-text citations. In-text citations correspond with your references and include the author and year either in parentheses or as part of your sentence to identify which source supports your paraphrase, summary, or quote. This example shows everything in parentheses. Note that it includes an open parenthesis, author, comma, space, year, and closed parenthesis. Quotes require the page number in addition to author and publication year. The first example introduces the source as part of a sentence, but the publication year is still included in parentheses, and the page number is displayed after the quote. The second example shows everything in parentheses, author, year, and page number where the quote can be found. Now that we briefly introduced you to document formatting, reference page citations, and in-text citations, we will end with resources that help you create an APA style project. You can make the process easier on yourself by using these resources. If you find materials in the library catalog or databases, they include the citation. For sources you get elsewhere, you can use a citation generator to help you create citations. It is still a good idea to know the basics since citation generators can be incorrect as a result of inaccurate information either from the data the website uses or information that you type in. You can find numerous websites that include directions and examples for all aspects of APA style. The one we included here goes to a sample paper so you can see what it looks like. Templates can help you with formatting. Just make sure they've been updated to 7th edition or double check the format using the checklist and handouts we provide. You can find videos on YouTube that can help you, such as how to create hanging indents on your reference page. Word and Google Docs have features that can help you too. There are also browser extensions that you may find helpful, such as MyBib. We briefly covered document formatting, reference page citations, in-text citations, and resources to support your creation of an APA style project. For more examples and details, watch or attend the APA 7th Edition Basics Workshop. You can also get assistance from a human, such as a librarian, to help you with APA style. You can make an appointment that suits your schedule through our online booking system. 
Quick questions that require limited conversation can be asked using the Ask a Librarian form. We hope you find this brief overview to APA 7th edition helpful. The WCC Library is here to help you regardless of your location or world events.